At first sight, a charming old hotel with wooden floors and black and white photos on the walls. But in the floor, a glimpse into the painful past. A basement holding the belongings of residents of what used to be Nihonmachi, Seattle's Japantown. It's fishing and art. There's watercolors. And there's a violin over there in that dresser, an old violin. Lots of instruments, books, records. Following Japan's attack on Pearl Harbor in Hawaii in December 1941, marking the U.S. entry into World War II, the United States incarcerated nearly 120,000 Japanese Americans living on the West Coast. They could take to the camps only what they could carry. At the time, the hotel was owned by a man named Takashi Hori. Mr. Hori was 100% American. It was just a short window in there he realized it was for he and his family. They were all going, everybody. And so he had friends that came up and said, oh, it's Tack, can I put my stuff in your basement? And he said, oh, yeah. And then another one said this one and told that one, and they just continued to bring it up until it was full. Hori and his family were sent to Camp Minidoka in Idaho, returning to work at the hotel after the war ended. But many of the families who stored their belongings in the basement didn't return to collect them. There was a lot of chaos when people came back. In some places, people had... Uh, friends who uh, supported them, but in other places uh, they really didn't know what to expect and faced a lot of uh, discrimination, a lot of harassment, uh, violence, and things like that. And so it's not surprising that uh, there, there are some things that were still left behind because people never returned to Seattle, because people returned under chaotic conditions. Current hotel owner Jen Johnson was an artist renting a studio in the neighborhood when she met its previous owner, Takashi Hori. And I went into the basement, and of course, Mr. Horry was telling me stories as we'd go along. And when I saw the basement where the trunks are, I thought, I, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe that that happened. So then I saw Mr. Horry throwing stuff away in dumpsters. And I said, no, Mr. Horry, if you're finished, I'll take care of it. In 1985, she bought the hotel, intent on preserving its legacy. Everybody thought, you know, it's just this crazy lady on the hill. None of the museums here or anybody was interested in the trunks in the basement or the building or what was here, what it represented. But over time, opinions about Panama Hotel changed. In 2006, it was designated a National Historic Landmark. National Treasure got a giant grant to come in and document everything in the basement. I think it was close to eight or 9,000 items. Johnson is in the process of opening a Japanese-American museum on the hotel site. But she insists it will remain a hotel where visitors can stay in the historic rooms, her way of keeping Nihonmachi alive. Natasha Mosgovaya, VOA News, Seattle, Washington.